So, hi guys, uh, Traxxas X Max. This isn't going to be a big uh, review. Uh, literally, I've had the truck uh, three days now. Uh, I've just managed to run it uh, yesterday at the BMX track. I did a review uh, for, you, uh, for RRCI magazine. Uh, so, what can I say about it? Uh, first thing says, it's big. It's huge. <clears throat> if you look in comparison, uh, this is supposed to be a 1.5 scale truck, uh, but I actually think it's slightly bigger. If you look behind me, I've got the Lossy DBXL, uh, <clears throat> which I thought was big, but in comparison to this, it's huge. If you have a look, I know it's very hard to see from this, but if you have a look at the size of these wheels and how firm they are, that I think they're actually a lot bigger than a lossy dbxl and it's a lot wider as well it's more of a truck uh, and it actually handles phenomenally you wouldn't believe normally with the bigger cars like the mcd well the mcd is different because it's an off it's an on-road and you can drift and this that and the other <coughs> but the lossy phenomenal off-road this handles exactly the same as that but without all of the noise and without all of the dirtiness of it I was running this at the BMX track on uh, really not very good batteries, quite cheapo batteries. Uh, these are Lippo 4000, uh, really low discharge, 30 C of discharge. But I was running, these are three cell, I was running two three cells, so obviously six cell Lippo. And torque, power, everything was phenomenal. Uh, a lot of people have said about this truck being too slow, ignore them. Uh, it is slow if you compare it to an MCD15 on road, but this isn't on road, this is off road, and you get bags of power, bags of torque, and bags of uh, wheelies from this truck from uh, running two, three cell lipos. <clears throat> so, to the truck itself, I must say the biggest and best thing which has ever happened in RC world has, has been brought out by Traxxas, and that is this little gadget here this little thing no more lost body pins everything every other rc car i own from the lossy to the mcd to the schumacher to the tlrs to the yokomos to the rc 10s to the hpis to all of my schumacher k1s arrows they've all got annoying body clips and i always lose them so for this one little clip lift off boom Awesome. Traxxas, well done. The f as far as I'm concerned, this is probably the first one that's ever been done like that. And it's a revelation to all RC uh, fans. So, okay. As I said, the truck is built absolutely gorgeously. It's really well put together. Uh, the plastic is a really good quality. Yet again, these uh, battery trays are an absolute work of art. They enable you to easily fit. This is a three cell hard pack. I thought when I originally bought the truck, I was going to have to buy a new load of batteries, but literally, uh, hold on, let's just take that out. Like so, boom, we're in. And it's got the sponge <coughs> inside there to hold your batteries absolutely snug as a bug. And I actually think, I reckon you may well be able to run a four cell in there to twin four cells even though the ESC won't let you because that's a six cell uh, <coughs> maximum of six cells so you won't be able to run anything much bigger than that uh, yeah so I run two twin hard pack three cell, uh, three cell batteries uh, I didn't want to invest in a load more batteries because I've got saddles I've got shorties I've got four cells I've got five cells I've got uh, what else two cells stick packs so and the only one knows buying batteries is a bit of a Bit of a fortune so i run time on these on four four thousand mih i got about would you believe 20 minutes 20 minutes on a four-wheel drive truck like this uh and i didn't have a lack of power or anything and it was it was great you know it was doing standing wheelies uh it was getting really good traction it was just drivability of it was phenomenal if you subscribe you can actually go to my videos and you can see running videos of this uh, i took it to my local bmx track and uh it just handled it like a dream absolute dream 
So, as I said, this isn't going to be a long drawn out uh, video. I just want to give you my first impressions of it. The only thing which I didn't like about it is when you were jumping it and it was landing and it sounded like uh, a horrible blunk sound. So I don't know whether that's just the fact of maybe putting a little bit of uh, foam the other side of the, uh, the body shell where it actually clips on just to stop that you know real annoying sound uh, but that was purely it wasn't the truck itself it was just the contacts with the body shell on the plastic on here so I think a quick fix or a little bit of playing with maybe a bit of foam around here there or or whatever uh, as I said the motor is completely strong enough the ESC is foolproof uh, the truck is super smooth I mean super smooth no clogging noises no metal kind of sound rough sounding for such a big truck shock absorbs as you can see they're brutes they're big old and they can put an awful lot as i said not quite as big as the lossy dbxl but it ain't far off that's for sure handled all of the jumps absolutely perfect it didn't bottom out i've got no real scratches on the bottom where it's been bottoming out and trust me i was doing some big jumps uh steering servo Ooh, I think I'm not sure whether it was the steering server that was maybe a little bit too soft too weak or whether it was just too the surface on the uh, the BMX track was loose I'll have to try it on grass and then maybe with big trucks like this you need super strong servos uh, and it, as I said in all of my big ones like my, my lossy DBXL I upgrade to a, a decent Rhino or a, Sa or a Savox a real big heavy duty uh, heavy duty uh, servo but other than that i hate the controller uh when i did the review i actually put it up i can't be doing with these controllers uh they're my worst enemy to be honest i'm a big believer of the old uh where are we spectrum can't beat it best thing about these is the dx3r i'm goofy style and i actually spear with my left hand so what I was doing, I was looking a bit caggy handed. I was trying to jump it and steer it like that, which is, so that's, that's going out. And then this big boy will be going onto that. Uh, all I need to do is whip out the old uh, receiver, put in a new uh, Spectrum one, and we'll be good to go. So, as I said, super, super quick. Just pop that back on, pop that on, turn that in, and we're locked in. And that's it. So, as I said, the tyres are super hard, super hard inserts. Phenomenal, great bit of kit. So, okay, as I said, quick bit of a, quick of a review of it. Uh, I personally think it's worth every penny and uh, I look forward to giving it a really good bash uh, when the weather clears up a bit. Okay, guys, please subscribe, comment, ask me any questions, you can ask me anything. I run all sorts of RC stuff from, as I said, RC8s to losses to MCDs. Uh, Yokomo, Schumacher K10s, Schumacher KFs, Trophy Truggy, uh, everything. So feel free to ask and uh, hopefully I'll get back to you. All right, guys, check out.